I really, because I just felt so alone. I felt like I was the only one who made that decision. And I now know that is far more common than, you know, than it should be. Before I came to the Lord, I, I really didn't even know I was lost. I grew up, my parents were divorced. I sought, you know, whatever I could when I was in high school, drugs, alcohol, sexual immorality. When I was 18, I had an abortion. And that decision has probably held me the most captive for the last um, 15 years of my life. So I had my daughter when I was 25 and realized there had to be more to life than the parties and you know all that stuff that was empty. And after I had my daughter, I got pregnant with a son and he actually ended up dying before he was born. And so having had the abortion when I was 18 led me to believe that I was being punished. So I blame myself for all these years that he died. Through Healed and Set Free, I've been able to deal with the choices that I've made and come to terms with who God is and um, that He loves me. And I never got that. I never understood that. So on the first day of uh, the Bible study, the Healed and Set Free Bible study, we just kind of were getting to know each other. And uh, my leader handed out a sheet of paper with all these things that you have either been through, so your circumstances or choices that you made in your past. So as I'm reading it, you know, abortion was like the top one on the list because it was in alphabetical order and I was like, I don't need to deal with that. I'm, I'm not circling that. I don't want anybody to know. Just keep the silence. And God was so powerful in prompting me and saying, look, you need to circle that. This is why you're here. This is the whole reason. This is what's holding you captive. So in faith, I circled it turned it in and my leader said well I can already see that some of you have done or gone through some of the same things that I've been through and I was thinking I wonder if she's talking about abortion I really because I just felt so alone I felt like I was the only one who made that decision and I now know that is far more common than you know than it should be and I just I think what people will get out of the Bible study is they'll realize that they're not alone that we, if we would all just stop pretending that we're perfect and that we have no problems and that, you know, and if we all stop trying to do everything on our own and if we give our lives to God, if we rely on God, then we really can be set free. And life's still tough. We're still going to have struggles. We're still going to have trials. But through this Bible study, I now know what to do with my struggles and I now know what to do with my trials. And I feel like I have a partner in this life. Um, that's got my back for everything. I chased after all this emptiness, and now I finally found what's making me whole. There's no place that God's love won't reach. I think everybody could benefit from Hill and Sun Free. I think everybody is broken. Everybody has stuff they need to deal with. And when you find a group of women that support you and love you and pray for you and the process that you go through in the Bible study, you will be changed. My husband says I am a completely different person than I was before the Bible study. Lingering hurts can cripple, damage, and paralyze our mind and soul, creating a person we don't want to be, keeping you and even your entire family in shackles. But Christ said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. What does it mean to be truly set free from life's hurts? Healed and Set Free is a ministry for women that is offering hope for the brokenhearted.